Doug. Good evening, everybody. Uh, during tea time, the two managers were called into the match uh, referee's room where discussion was held on the condition of the pitch. At that time, the decision was that if the match officials, that the two on-field umpires felt it was unfair at any stage, they will consult with the match referee, uh, and then they'll consult with the captains as well and make a decision either way. So obviously when the teams came off, that's exactly what happened. Uh, from our point of view, this decision lies squarely in the hands of the match referees. And uh, I mean, it, we, we can't say either way whether we want to play or not. They've got to make a decision whether it's safe or not. Yeah, I think everybody wants to see test cricket. I mean, the, the, the match is interestingly poised at the moment. It could go either way. There's two, two of your best teams playing. So everyone wants to see test cricket. Uh, the, the issue becomes what is unfit and unsafe. And uh, I think when a, the ball leaps from a, a length and hits somebody in the face, that's when the match officials, in their opinion, feel that it's unsafe. I mean, we, we'll definitely want to play if the, if the conditions are safe. But that's for the match officials to decide, not for us to decide. No, according to the match, the referee hasn't come back to us officially that the decision is going to be made tomorrow. They told us to, to wait around and they will, they're going to let us know this evening if that's going to be the case. I mean, there's no doubt that questions are going to be asked about the preparation of the pitches. Uh, when we got here on day one, I mean, it looked like a sporty wicket. Uh, from a South African perspective, all we wanted was a good wicket with pace and bounce. Uh, but obviously the ICC will, will rate it and there will be some for, form of uh, repercussions. I'm not sure you're watching the same game. Uh, the ball that hit Dean Alga shot off from a good length. Definitely. The, the match actually makes the decision that we have Even to play. Without, uh, referring to pitch, on hazard, if that's the decision that the match referee makes, then definitely we'll play. Yes, Joe? Okay. Nobody's made a, a direct statement as to the condition of the pitch with the ball seeming around or so bouncing off a crack. But I think if it's hitting the rib cage and maybe hitting one or two fingers, you can probably get away with it. But the minute it goes up to the face or head, and that's why the match officials, actually the umpires, walked off the field and, and uh, decided to consult with the match referee. So I don't think the short pitch bowling, bowling affected Shami at all. He made, he made us fetch it from the middle of the stands. I think this is test cricket. Uh, you're going to find that one team will, will, will try and attack to try and get an advantage and get a wicket. But I don't think there was any deliberate intention to hurt anybody.